Hi, I'm Kevin Taylor from the Moray Group. Today's little video is about our LSR, our light, light ray spot repair system. And today I'm going to show you a little uh, add-on accessory that can go with our LRS Pro, um, which is a push-pull system for 90 feet doing an air spot repair or an air power spot repair with UV resin. This is our two-inch mini. It's designed to do about a foot repair and it goes inside a nice little two inch pipe nice and easily and it's an add-on accessory or it's a standalone. This one is uh, coupled up to the uh, LRS Pro so it's hooked onto the end of the hose so it's an add-on capability to allow you to do more than just what the LSR Pro does which is from three to six inch. So assuming the, uh, we've got a little demo pipe that we've put together I'm going to show you quickly what, what we do on the patch on the spot repair. I've already cut it, it's ready to go. Uh, when you're doing this, you want to be in an area where there's no sunlight because this is a UV activated resin and as you can see, it doesn't drip, it doesn't run anywhere. So it allows you a lot more flexibility and time. So simply get your packer, buy some liberal uh, silicone spray to give it some lubrication, they're nice and wet. And as I said, because this material is already pre-mixed, pre-wet out, it's not like the standard uh, runny type of resin system that you're going to come across in the traditional spot repairs. And what you're going to do is you're going to roll this patch as tight as you can onto this little packer. Take your time, you've got plenty of time. This is an UV activated resin, so it won't kick off until we turn on the lights. Now before we do this, normally we would take this packer and put it inside a two inch pipe, pressurize it and prove what the pressure is required to expand it. I've already done that, so this one runs at around uh, four and a half to five PSI. It gets the uh, packer nice and tight against the hose pipe. I'll put my glasses on, you can see this thing. So we get these little uh, elastic bands. Basically, slide the band over the edge of the packer, so it's nice and tight. Take the other side from the other one, or two. and tight so I can't even get on. As you can see on the packer, we're running this under our little air system which creates the vacuum. And this keeps this little packer really nice and tight so that when you're actually getting ready to insert it in the pipe, it's as small as it can be. So you go around the bends, around the obstacles. And because this is pre-impregnated resin, you can put lubrication on it. It's not gonna hurt the resin, it's not gonna stop the cure. So basically when you've got it ready, as small as you can get, we're going to go in through the side, which is the equivalent to a, a two inch clean out that would be in the wall. As you can see, you can push it into place, there you go. and of course now I've got wet gloves, it's a little bit trickier. And then we assume that you've gone down with your camera so you know the length that you're going down to. Basically push it down, you've gone around the bottom bend. We're now coming around the 90. So a little hiccup there. Did you put on it? Yeah, I'll stay on it. So, again, we're coming around the 90, pushing it around. As you, can, as you can see, now we're coming through the cutout section. And this is essentially where we're gonna line up our repair. Normally we'd have this cable marked, so we'd know exactly where it is. You can follow it down with the camera, look at the thing, get everything in place. Now you know you're in place. Um, with the system that we've got, um, essentially we're gonna switch off the air. 
on the vacuum, and that releases the vacuum line. turn on the air and I'm going to set it for around one or two psi just for a few seconds just to stabilize the packer in place this will slowly expand the packer and the packer will push the uh, material tight up against the pipe wall as I said, you can take your time on this because we're literally two to three minutes away from finishing the repair. So get everything ready before you do everything. Get it nice and done, take your time, get it in place, air it up. Once you're aired up and you've got your pressure that you know, I'm running now, I'm reading around four. I'm gonna take it up a little bit more to five. So I'm in place and I'll hit the lights. From now, you can start your timer, your watch, clock, whatever. Three minutes, you're complete. Uh, whether it's in cold water, hot water, groundwater conditions, it's still going to be three minutes. So, get a timer. Sure. Still soft. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When are we up? 30, 30 seconds. It's already starting to cure. 50. And we're about a minute, minute into the cure, and it's already going, going hard. You can feel a little temperature from the lights. One minute. So in three minutes, it's done. You've done the spot repair and you'll be able to extract the, uh, the pack. What we do on the extraction is as soon as we're done with the lights, we turn off the lights. We select vacuum again to suck the packer down, make it nice and small to pull it back out and retrieve the device. Go back in with the camera, check it's all done. So within three to five minutes, you've done a two inch spot repair with the world's first light ray UV spot repair system. And as I said, this can be an accessory to the LRS Pro, or it can be a standalone with its own power cable and a push hose of around 20 feet. We're done. I'm gonna uh, set the extraction now, turn off the lights, turn off the air, select the vacuum. Now running on the vacuum, I can feel if it's stiff. As soon as it starts to ease off, I'll be able to pull it back and extract it once it's down in the side. Got it out of the pipe. The best thing now to do is to put air back to it, clean all the residual off, put air pressure to it, test that it's all okay, you're not creating any leaks, or you're going to replace the bladder, and you're good for the next job. Thank you, and have a nice day.